Hello and welcome back to Crazy Row Studio. In this video we will look at how to restore a single table from a backup of a SQL database which is on an availability group using the Networker plugin for SQL Management Studio and Item Pointer. There can be scenarios wherein you do not want to restore the entire database but just a single table from all the different tables that you have in your database. In this case, you can use the granular or GLR recovery of the SQL data. So for this, again, we are going to hop on the Networker Backup or NMM plugin for SMS. There are two ways to do this, uh, to be honest. One way is to directly launch the Dell EMC item point which is part of the installation of NMM, but it's not a default option. So make sure that when you're installing the NMM agent on the respective SQL servers, you select the option for installing the item point as well. On the NMM plugin for SMS, to do this GLR restore or the table level restore of uh, data from the backup, you will have to click on the table restore tab of the NMM for SMS. Here, uh, similar to what how you had for a database restore, you will have to put in the name of your network server, which is now pre-propulated in my case, but if in case it's not, you can go ahead and type uh, in the uh, host name, the FDN name, and then click on update. Uh, right now, what it's doing is it is connecting to the networker server to pull the information from the networker server relevant to the selection that we have here, which is the host. Uh, in our case, it's the AG. Uh, SQL AG1, the instance which is SQL AG1, and the database, which is the only database that we have in this particular uh, server, which is AG DB1. So uh, I told you there are two options. So the other option is to directly launch the uh, item point for SQL Server, which is installed as part of the installation for NMM. So this is a hard way because in order to do the recovery directly from item point, you will have to first do a flat file or a flat file recovery of the backup itself as a .bak. So if you remember or if you have already seen the demo for flat file recovery, we had done a recovery of one of the databases in restore. We can just go ahead and open that up. So this is how it looks like and when you click finish it is going to read that backup and it is going to give us the available uh, tables in that particular backup so, so this is one way and again you will have to then go ahead and uh, right so you s you'll have to select the destination and you know create all the rest of the configuration basically uh, so if you select finish it's going to connect to the target and then you have to copy and paste it uh, copy and paste the database or the table that you want to restore so we will not take this route what we will be doing is we will be taking the easy route which is through the NMM plugin for SMS on the table restore tab we go and select the backup that we want to restore from so let's go and select this one and just look at the other options that is available here. So this is the location wherein the uh, the backup is going to be mounted so that we will be able to copy the table. So so this is basically required because the uh, what Networker does is it recovers a copy of the database or uh, mounts a copy of the database on this particular uh, folder here and then it allows us to copy the table out of it. So this is by default the location for that mount point. Uh, you can leave it as is or if in case you want another location wherein that particular database backup needs to be mounted, you can mention that there as well. And this is just the monitor tab. So let's go ahead and select this here and then hit run. Now what Networker is doing is that it is now getting the copy of the database and mounting it on the location that it was specified under the options tab. This might take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to pause the video here. Oh, it's almost done. 
so as you can see here what it is done is it is now restored and uh, it is mounted to the place oh, it is restored the database as a temporary database and now it is mounting the file system so that we it is available for us to copy the table from so it might take a few minutes here so i'm just going to pause the video here and come back once uh, the mount is completed all right so now the backup has been mounted successfully and it has automatically launched the item uh, point window and it is asking for a source so source is basically the same location that we had mentioned so which is uh, the networker nsr temp uh, nwfs and the virtual file system if you go to that location you will actually see that backup mounted here temporarily so uh, let's go back and say next and it is going to ask for the target server so our target server is going to be the same server in our case or if in case you want to have a different target server you could do that as well but it is always good to launch it from the destination so this is my destination server where i have launched this and it is going to ask which database we need to connect to as a target database i'm going to leave it to agdb1 and then we can click on finish and that is going to mount both the source and the destination in this case so now you see that from our source we have the similar kind of uh, uh, databases that we had earlier because that's basically the same database so i'm just going to copy this database so the op the way to do it is to highlight the table that you want to copy and then either right click and say copy or you can also go up here and say copy and then go to the destination uh, database you where you want to restore the data uh, the table to here we have just one database so i'm just going to select that and once you select that uh, the destination database uh, the tables folder under the destination database you are going to have another and the paste uh, option available and just go ahead and hit paste this is going to be the name of the table so since the table is already existing we might have to say recovered and then say okay so depending on the size of the table it might take anything from a few minutes to uh, an hour or so it should be pretty pretty fast because it is almost doing a local copy and then you can go ahead and close this now you will see that the data has been copied over or the table has been copied over but it might not be visible because like you might have seen the previous video for copy restore you might have to relaunch the uh, SMS again so let's just go ahead and do that so I've connected to the, uh, uh, the re I have relaunched the SMS and connected to the node and let's quickly check the database so the database that we have restored to is agdb1 and if we go to tables you will see that this is the table that we have restored So this is how we do a GLR restore um, on a database that belongs to a availability group. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.